What's up, you guys? Welcome to a map called Invasion of the of the Big Box Towers. <laughs> in invasion. This isn't, this isn't what? what was described in the. What did they say? I, it sounded like it was a bigger map. It's weird. Okay. Well, it looks like it's a box map. Lately, there's been a lot of box maps. Yeah. But you know what? Again, that might be a, a new onslaught of uh, new map creators learn, you know, learning their way. So, yeah, yeah. hey, we're not complaining. Have at it, friends. Keep working. Yep. Keep expanding. Be good to figure go. Figure it, figure it out, and then the next one just because you if know, you think about rooms. the life cycle, dude, it took a while for the world at war. You know, we lost a lot of good mappers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In that, why? Well, time, age, yeah. uh, regular jobs that pay money, yeah, you know, real, things like that. Real, exactly. It's too so, bad they couldn't figure out. I know a lot. The modding community exists for all the games, and nobody makes money. But you know, no, it does. Bethesda.net took. They took things off of like um, where you would get your mods and yeah, put yeah. it on Bethesda.net to yeah. pay the modders. But yeah. well, like regular business, Bethesda's obviously making money off of their their work now. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And in the end, the modder gets just a little bit, Bethesda gets a little bit, and now we as gamers have to pay for the mods. Now, mm -hmm. that being said. If you got a little mod that's like uh, the power switch glitch, I don't want to pay for that. I'll deal with the yeah, glitch. Yeah. But yeah, if you've yeah, got a yeah. mod, some of these guys like in Skyrim, right? They made almost like a, a full-blown DLC. That is worth paying for, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A couple Something bucks, big. five bucks, whatever it is. Yeah, like I wouldn't pay... Not insulting again this map maker, but I wouldn't pay for these kind of maps like I would there was no way I would pay for this But some of the maps made from like the really good Zeroy, well, like Wanted Mad Gaz, that we Chaos. just played Yeah, Mad yeah, Gaz's exactly, maps, exactly. Zeroy's maps, so, Chaos's or, maps. I, I wish there was a way for we them Wee Woo's maps. Yeah, yeah, you guys know the names. You guys know the names It would be it would be good and you know what it would it would add it would add to it and It would inspire them and they would be like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna get something from I, yeah. this. Not that that's always the reason, but it's nice to be appreciated when YouTubers like ourselves yeah. make money from their hard work, you know? Yeah. I get it. But here's the thing, in this day and age, not just this day and age, but all the way back to uh, LimeWire and um, uh, Napster, yeah, and all this, these guys who steal stuff off the internet. Oh, yeah, yeah. Everybody, Every end user wants things for free, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you're an they end user, they don't care how hard you you work on something. You guys, if you if you guys out there don't know any map makers or modders of any game, um, I'll tell you that it's a lot of work, and they you know why they do it? One, because they appreciate when people play the stuff that they create. It's and like enjoy, yeah, yeah, it's exactly. like someone enjoying your artwork or your music yeah, that yeah, you make. Yeah, exactly. But the other thing is they enjoy doing it. Like they enjoy making mm -hmm. it and possibly could be working towards a career in in some kind of design. Yeah. But at the end of the day, if you if you were an original World at War mapper and then you mapped a bunch there, then you transitioned finally when they released the stuff for Black Ops 3, you're like, dude, I've spent years doing this and made zero money. This is yeah, why yeah. we did our contests, right? Yeah, exactly. Our exactly. contests were really a way to give, give back. some back to some of these great people. But unfortunately, they the views of them, like the the community just didn't support it. Yeah. You Maybe know, it's it, just, you know, COD's been around for so long. It, it, it Even just playing COD, it's not like the old days of playing like COD 4, Modern Warfare 2. It just doesn't draw in the same audience anymore. Yeah. You know, true. A lot of different channels. That's the problem. Like in its peak, it should have been happening that way, but yeah. But yeah, I it's a tough call. It's a tough call for the makers, the end users, and all that stuff as far as money goes. You know, it's a business. Whoever whoever puts it together is going to have to take their cut. You yeah. Know? yeah exactly. All they did was set it up. But like with Bethesda, what they did was they blocked it from going other places. I think originally what they did, and I might be wrong, but I think what they originally did was anything for Xbox for like Skyrim 
was going to go on Bethesda.net only, not on any site where you could um, get it for free. Oh, the actual, where you could actually get the whole file, right? Yeah. They're like, upload it here, make sure that people You have to go to Bethesda download. and buy it, and yeah, then yeah. you can use it. Yeah. That's the thing. I don't know. I mean, the, and we appreciate it. If you're a map maker and you're like, I don't care about the money. It's not about the that's money. That's awesome. Well, yeah. And that's awesome. And it's and we greatly appreciate your passion for this and everything Thanks like that. But that's all. what? What was that? I don't know. Fetch me a soul. Wait, I thought oh. the map maker said he took he out broke. dogs because it was glitching. Maybe he found yeah. the fix for it. You fixed it, map maker. Nice. You're mine. good. Get him! Get him, dog. Yeah, I don't mind, you guys. You gotta, you gotta remember that if if you're seeing a lot of box maps, it's not because people are lazy. It's because people are learning, learning and we yeah. want more and more people to do this, right? As yeah. as we move forward and love zombies, we need we need this. Yeah. Now, now the one thing I will say though, yeah, is if you're a new to map making, yeah. do not please, for the love of all things sacred upload pre-alpha alpha things if your map is not ready to be tested like a beta and you're gonna fix upon it please don't put it on the on the steam thing people will just complain about it no one wants to play like a highly unfinished map like do take your time wait till yeah. it's almost done and then you know release it and then get feedback and tweak it from there because some of them like we'll just avoid because it's like when well, we then we miss them, too, because as they get updated, they don't yeah. re-upload it. They no. they do that, and it's pages back, right? Yeah, yeah, they exactly. Miss it. It's just, you know... The workshop, the workshop has changed over the years, right? So the workshop before could have been something for that. But nowadays, the workshop is a place where we get maps. Yeah. You know, it's where yeah. they're fairly finished, playable. Boop. Ray gun. Pew, 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 pew. Ooh. Uh, did you even see if there was an ending on this? Uh, I don't know. I don't. It would be along this good. wall here, I would imagine, or these gates, gates of hell. No, no, no. No, it's just, it's just us talking about our love for zombies for 22 rounds. I like zombies. What's your favorite game? <laughs> What's your favorite? Game? I get that question all the time. You can't answer that, right? Unless yeah, you're I'd just a per if unless you're you're I'm a gamer, but I only play this game. Like there's people that play only what's a good game? World of Warcraft is a yeah, perfect yeah. example. It's like yeah. yeah, I dedicate my life to it because it it kind of requires that to to do yeah. that, right? They're so involved for in it. other a lot of people, people like League of Legends. Well, there's yeah, exactly. League is a perfect example too. For other people like like me and. You and a lot of you guys out there, we're gamers. We like playing video games. So we like different genres of games. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, what might be a better question is what's your favorite genre yeah, of video exactly. game? Like, I really love post-apocalyptic type stuff. Like, yeah, you know, I, I like I'm lore like games that. like Skyrim. Open world with narrative driven. Oh, it's just, I love that stuff. Things like The Forest for me. I'm, I'm not as big like you are on stuff like fallout i'm not a fallout person but even I'm not even a... forest is yeah. a post a lot apocalyptic open yeah, yeah, yeah. world type game Seven so that days. genre we both love that yeah, yeah i think i think a lot of people could say that is my favorite yes i love call of duty yes i love this i love that yeah, but yeah. if you what could be lumped into post apocalyptic open world sandbox games seven days to die yeah, fallout yeah. You know, all those types of things. Oh, yeah. The forest. Yeah, forest was good. Me like Metro that one. Exodus. Metro, Metro Last Light. Metro 2033. Stalker. Those games are great. Yeah, my interest in games have changed quite a bit since we started YouTube. Like, when I think uh, this May will be 10 years uh, for me, but it's changed a lot. It used to be, I used to be like cod only like 24/7 yeah. that's Doucher. all i yeah, play exactly. <laughs> yeah exactly <Doucher. laughs> uh and then you know after you play it so much just like you guys uh, even myself i'm like eh i'm just not feeling it anymore i want to try something new then i find games like the forest and all those oh, other yeah. i'm like wow i love that like it's so much fun 
Yeah. It just depends on what you can get into, you know? Mm. I'm a big... I'm a... I really like these... These individual solo type you know skyrims and fallouts oh, yeah. oh, right yeah, yeah. i because i get in now i get into the lore, kind of the lore of it in my own way there's a lot of people that will sit there and listen to every dialogue read every note that's yeah, yeah. not me i'm yeah. into the lore of the environment the the battles that you come upon you know and what what tells me a game that I really like is a narrative-driven story that I don't have to listen to all that stuff I don't want to, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Where every conversation isn't critical. Like you're sitting there just having to listen and you have to read every note. You know, yeah, yeah. Far Cry for me is one of my favorite series. For this, sure. Do you, have to, do you have to pay attention to no, every little no, thing No, you that? don't. Not at all. You can run and gun. You can, On that, you can skip every side mission. There's, You can do whatever you want in that game, really. There's a lot of games like that, right? So I like the theory of a game that you can skip all the side missions, but if you want any of the better armor or guns, you got to yeah. do the sides. That's oh, what dude. I like. Perfect game. So looking forward to it. And I know 100% that you are is Borderlands. Oh, yeah. Borderlands 3 coming maybe as early as next year, possibly. Next year. It's been a long yeah. time since we got the last one, too. Uh, the last yeah. one I didn't like very much. Yeah, the pre-sequel. Yeah. I mean, it was okay. It wasn't It wasn't too bad, but Borderlands 2, like, it was awesome. It was just... Well, well it made the it. first one and the second one so good was the crazy environment, how big and open it was, traveling yeah, yeah. around, learning the characters. I have so I have hundreds, hundreds, maybe thousand hours into the yeah. Borderlands series between consoles and PC. Played every character on console, <laughs> yeah. and then played every character on PC, and that's for just one. Then you go into two. Yeah, two. Yeah. Oh, I don't know, man. That was really good. And um, the replayability of it is really good oh, it's too. Ridiculous. Yeah, because you can go, what is it, on the like the crazy mode. Once you beat it, then all of a sudden you yeah. redo it. New game with, plus. With better weapons and everything. It's just ridiculous, though, dude. But they did it so well. Like, the, the loot system, the legendaries, you know what I mean? Well, the, the, and the, the gazillion guns, right, which is what yeah. everybody likes. Because uh, you have to take a peek at every gun. You're like, well, this thing might be, like, a little bit better magazine. Yeah. It might have you a little bit more fire damage. You see, what is it? Was it yellow or orange? Which one purple. was the best against? Oh, was oh it the, purple? the yeah, no, the, it was a gold no. color. Yeah, yeah, the yellowy gold color. Green. You see gray. that on the ground, you're like, oh, what is oh. it? And then you had the bosses, right? That you yeah, could, yeah. you could farm the bosses, go through all that, and keep farming the bosses. And it's not like a glitch; like they no. intentionally made it to where you could farm bosses. Yeah, You're like big yeah, old battle, cool. and and then he explodes with weapons and equipment Boom! all over the place. The dragon like, just yes. barfing out weapons. <laughs> and what what made it kind of a folk or cult classic was their decision to leave it as that. Do you have the GKZs? No. I was wondering what you, you got the ray gun and then the GKZs. I was wondering <laughs> where you. No one was coming in your windows over there. <laughs> What are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. It's a place to be. Yeah, I don't know, man. I, I, I hope, you know, I, I'm not even going to say like, oh, I want it to be like this. I want it to be like that. You want it to be fresh. You want it to I be I want to see what they have to offer. That's it. Yeah, yeah. I trust yeah. I trust their, uh, their stuff. Like I said, the pre-sequel wasn't bad. It's just, no. it's hard to continue from one and two you're like yeah yeah you know they tried to take it up in the sky a little bit more i don't know there's Dude, they, i think for most people i think for most people they really love two but yeah, if you yeah. if you were around if you weren't like a baby in diapers when one came out <laughs> and you played one first you yeah. would appreciate one yeah. and then two comes out you're like oh my gosh what a great sequel to one yeah, yeah. and then them together it's just incredible. It's but hard I, to go to play to two go. and then go back to one. Yeah, well, there's always those improvements. The mechanics, well, yeah, the, movement, the, mechanics, the story, yeah. everything. Everything is like that. But They did change the characters, which is cool. If you so, didn't like the pre-sequel as much, I guarantee you're not the only one. 
you're not the only one that felt that way and as there's enough comments they know that the absolute love of the border true borderland fans yeah. would love the way one and two was set up so i can't see them doing the next one like a borderlands three not more similar to the way one and two was you know yeah but something unique because if it's not unique you're gonna be like oh yeah it's just like this and then you're gonna get it's not gonna be fresh it's not gonna be new enough you know yeah what do you got there the mx yeah. mx grand my thing is all silent that's why you couldn't hear me going pew 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 yeah it's silent for me too suppressed yeah borderland right. is it really supposed to be 2020 um i th think so they announced it but they announced it this year and i don't i highly doubt it's actually coming out but it's this been year. a couple of years already since pre-sequel dude listen if that they announce studio, it's coming out this year people are gonna lose their crap that studio must be making another game as well too though you know you think well maybe Usually, you won't see that long of a cycle between games like that. Because you got to remember, pre-sequel, let's say, I don't know right now as we're playing, but let's say pre-sequel came out two years ago. That means three years ago, they were almost finished with it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, when a game releases, they're already months into the new game. And yeah, if, you're, yeah. if you're like Call of Duty, obviously, they've got multiple studios. You're years into it already. Yeah, yeah. Well, Ooh, I, nice. I hope... You I hope you're right. I hope that it's like going to be a big shocker and they'd be like, guess what? It's coming this fall. But Borderlands, don't they normally release like spring those? Borderlands was always good about releasing like this time of year. Yeah, yeah. And so it's like, because you're like, oh my out, gosh, dude. there's no games coming out. They're like, Borderlands. Oh, yeah. And, and then everybody, like, you spend all the time on it, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because everything else has already been played like, yeah. a lot. So. Oh, yeah you're wanting something fresh and to have something like borderlands in the middle of nowhere like you're like oh yeah such a good game the replayability if you want to play you go back to borderlands 2 the replayability is awesome needless to say when it comes out people we will be playing it that's for sure meaty will likely have a, a solo on his channel but we're definitely doing co-op here yeah well that's that was really when Borderlands 1 came out, you know, I didn't have any online friends that I played with, really. Whoa, are you okay? No, I mean, I just played. I was just, yeah, I yeah, just I played, you know. And that, I loved it. But if you do have a group of people you play with, it's the best co-op game ever. Yeah, it's the best co-op really game good. ever. It really is. It's so good. Like, all right, you search that side of town, I search this side, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, the fights were so points. good in the towns and everything, dude. Well, and the way the way that they did the co-op, the drop in and drop out, so yeah. many years ago made it so good. The games today that are co-op suck. Yeah. Like it, it's impossible <laughs> for us to join, or this yeah. is lagging, yeah. or you don't see what I see. Yeah. However, they did it so many years ago. They they really beast moded the co-op. Yeah, they they have a perfect co-op. Uh, and recipe. obviously, you guys, we're a co-op channel. That's oh, why we're shit. talking about this, you know. Co-op. But it's a game that's incredible at co-op, but as single player as well too. And you can play up to four player co-op, and it's yeah, just yeah. as good with one, two, three, or four. Yeah, perfect. But what's really fun is when everyone, you know, everyone's the different character, right? So you can utilize each one's abilities. Well, and they were fun too, like the way that they designed it. I just, I don't know, man. I just remember the characters from Borderlands 2 way more. Like I just found them to be very memorable. Well, know? I really liked, like Axton was cool, but the, what's his name? The soldier from one with his shield. I liked the way his shield oh, worked yeah, better. Yeah. It's just different things. And then Maya was OP, like you, if you were gonna play solo, you really wanted to play as a siren, just overpowered. OP. But I she always liked the soldier, you know, because I gave everybody ammo. Yeah, you yeah. You know, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Formless fear. Oh, are you packing something? I'm packing. Packing heat. Lang ping base. Lang ping. Lang ping. The writ of Shamash. Death. 
Jet machine. Jesus, how many times are you getting that? Is that what it said? Machine. Yeah, it was a big old announcer voice. It's the death machine. Well, and see, and the map maker is experimenting with overriding audio files. Yeah, which is another good good thing to do. You know, it's good. Plenty of windows too for a box, which is good. Busy. But see what we do, you guys. A map like this, we take the time to have almost like a podcast type discussion on video gaming. Yeah, exactly. Super funny. No, don't tell us we should have a podcast because <laughs> we've tried it. No one watches yeah. it. No, no, no one's it's, really interested in that. Sorry, sorry. The Charlie. way the way the sub boxes work and everything like that wouldn't matter even if you you know you were watching. Just That's not right. gonna go anywhere. So we just have fun. That's right. Fun we get fun. in the discussions when we can. Hello. Hey, you're here to hear to hear to hear to Oh, 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 oh. You like that? Mm. Should have got stamina up. Woo woo, climb it up. Uh, what do we got here? Max ammo. Max ammo. There you go. Skidoosh. There you go. You want some of that? Ha 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 ha. Oh, Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Tight like a tiger. Doubles. Ooh, oh, 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 oh. Double headshot. Double oh, where's my shamash? Sh oh, you. Oh, those guys come in like hot tamales. They're pretty fast, yeah. Jeez, when those windows come open, they come open. I've been lazing them over here pretty good. Oh, shoot, dude. <laughs> you need a shield in this bad boy. Whee! Oh, my God. Hey. Get out Close of here. Close up the windows. Ow. Oh, wow. Dude, once these things were breached, that would turn into Crazyville. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. Get out of here. Leave him alone. I want a different gun. Brap, brap. Ugh. Ugh. Brecci. The Brecci. It's called the Braggy Man. Stella Screech. Fetch me that all. Fetch me that ball. So what is, what is he saying? What <laughs> boop boop. Beep beep. Plop. Pew 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 pew. That guy didn't want to accept his fate to the shotgun. Die, dogs. Yo, jeez. Max ammo. Max ammo. Max ammo. Ammo. 22! 22 rounds to go. 22 rounds to go. Closing up the windows. Four perk limit. Can't buy quick revive. Oh, is it? Ah, <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come and get me, come and get me. It's very safe here. Come on, get him, guys! No! Oh. What do you have? <laughs> the stellar screech, man! Yeah, but what's zapping? Zippy zapper right Oh, I got dead ripping. wire on it. Oh, you! What happened? You know what happened. <laughs> you know? <gasps> get him, get him, boys. No, no. Insta-key. Okay, alright. I'm gonna wait for that. You son of a. <laughs> Look out behind you! Oh no! Oh, I got downed anyway! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Debt machine! 